What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Moan T, 5-Minute Cigar Review. Excuse the outside noise. I got speeders driving by my house making all kind of racket, but I'm outside trying to finish up some yard work, taking a break, and I had gotten so into my cigar, I forgot that I wanted to do a review on it. But before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with everybody. And don't forget to leave your comments. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I'm going old school, holding the camera in my hand. So if it's a little bit shaky, cut me some slack. Anyway, let's get into today's special guest. Is another one of those cigars I thought I had done a review on a long time ago. And then I realized I hadn't. And I said, I gotta get this done. Now, I'll say this. Uh, I have not found these cigars in a while. I just, well, at the cigar shop, I haven't found them. Uh, just so happened to have a friend who had some extras, and I bought a couple from him. And let me tell you, I'm glad I bought them. Take a draw. Mm. All right, so today's special guest is the Arturo Fuente 858 Sun Grown. And this bad boy is tasty. That's all I can say. It's tasty. It's got a sun grown wrapper. That's all I could find. Looked at a couple places, a couple websites. All I could find was the wrapper was sun grown. Doesn't tell me the region in which it was sun grown, just that it was sun grown. The binder and filler are both Dominican, and hey, that's it. It's very simple. As you can see, I've smoked most of it down because, like I said, I got so into it, and I was doing the yard work that I just like, mm, it's too good. And then I thought, oh yeah, got to make the review. Haven't done it yet, so let's get into that review. Uh, the construction on this bad boy was really, really tight. Nice and good. As you can see, it's got a rich brown color to it. That ash is tight. The burn was has been, for the most part, very even. A little bit off now, but throughout this cigar, it has been even now. This particular cigar, I screwed up. Our Joe Fuente didn't screw up. I screwed up. It's dry as hell here in Colorado, and I left it sitting on the table for about an hour and a half so that the wrapper started to unravel a little bit, but not much, as you can see, down this far down, uh, no problems at all. It's got a nice, tight pack to it, which keeps that ash nice and tight, and that burn is even. Uh, I can't really say much about the burn and the, uh, and, the, and the ash, but check out this draw. Watch the cheeks. Very consistent throughout the entire smoke. Nice, easy draw, not struggling at all. Um, Let's see, no soft spots in this bad boy as I was poking and prodding on it like I do. Just an all-around good construction cigar. Uh, Flavor-wise, I've coined the term, I shouldn't say I've coined the term, I don't know, somebody else may have said it, but I started saying for this cigar in particular that it was, it had a simplicity in its complexity. Because uh, flavor-wise, it seemed like the flavors were very simple, but there was a complexness there, especially throughout the transitions. As you guys know, I don't give you first third, second third, third third. I just give you flavor. So flavor-wise, there's some cinnamon in there, some something else sweet. I later read that they're, they're saying honey, but I was tasting more of a caramel. Caramel, some cinnamon, a little bit of leather, and coffee. Now, about a year or so ago, I had a conversation with a gentleman who swears that every cigar has coffee flavor in there. Now, I disagree with that. But I understand where he's coming from because it seems that so many cigars do have notes of coffee in it. And I don't know if it's, I don't know the reason why. Uh, maybe it's just something indicative about tobacco leaves that taste like coffee. I don't know. Uh, coffee goes so well with, with cigars and maybe that's why. It's because people taste coffee in it. They thought the pairing of coffee would be good too. Um, but this one did have some coffee in it, a little bit of leather. As I said, some caramel and cinnamon. Very good uh, flavors. As I said, simplicity in its complexity. The flavors were simple, but the transitions seemed to be a little bit more complex than, than usual. Very good cigar. Now, I actually made a video for this 10 minutes ago, and I realized I forgot something, so I had to redo this video because I thought that would be easier than trying to splice some stuff in there. And even though what I had to splice was very simple, it's this. I give this bad boy three and three quarter fingers. Forgot to give you the finger rating on the last video. So now that I've done that, I can delete that one and throw this one out there. Three and three quarter fingers and go check this bad boy out. It is tasty. So that's it for today. Y'all be cool. Y'all be smoky. Peace out. <laughs>